Hello. Today we're going to talk about saving food. A lot of people on YouTube and various other sites are talking about an economic collapse uh, that's going to make the Great Depression of the uh, 19, late 1920s uh, look like a cakewalk uh, with visions of uh, people starving to death in the streets and homeless everywhere with uh, food riots and people shooting each other just for a bite of macaroni and cheese. Well, God willing, it won't get that bad, but uh, you can help prepare yourself for events, uh, for food preparation and for events that uh, are to come, whether it be uh, economic collapse, social collapse, or uh, natural catastrophe. Uh, I've noticed online that uh, there's a lot of people that to uh, have uh, 2012 questions in uh, Nerubu or Nerubu or however you want to pronounce it, the, the planet X that's uh, approaching our solar system and that uh, is going to uh, cause major havoc with uh, the Earth's poles and cause a major pole shift and thousand foot tidal waves that's going to wash inland and, and uh, millions and millions of people will be dead. Whatever you want to believe is, is, of course, totally up to you. But as far as starving, if there is a total uh, economic collapse, one of the things that you can do is go out and buy a food vacuum uh, machine. Uh, I personally own a food saver uh, food vacuum uh, machine. I purchased it at Walmart. It ran me about $100. The, uh, I get my bags in the roll so I can make the bags as big as I want. Uh, I prefer to go out and purchase dry foods such as uh, spaghetti, macaroni and cheese, uh, uh, rice, uh, instant potatoes and, and everything dry and package it up for a family to serve a family of three. I currently, at this point in time, have enough food stored away, vacuum sealed, either purchased that way or done it myself to last me and my family for almost an entire year. That is three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I have been saving for quite some time. Um, as most of you may have been uh, doing your research, may have gathered that it is getting quite late to be doing this, but uh, it, it's never too late to start. And the more you prepare, the better off you're going to be. You can also uh, vacuum seal any leftovers, and you can make your own MREs. Uh, Homestyle MREs, which is a military term, meal ready to eat. Obviously, since you're getting this, you are online, which means you have access to an enormous wealth of information. Don't just sit there on on your computer, uh, sitting in your chair with your head up your ass. Go to Google, go to Ask Jeeves, go to Yahoo or whatever search engine you you have and type in uh, preparing meats. Learn how to preserve meats. That's the way they did it a uh, hundred years ago and, and quite frankly a lot of people have forgotten how to do that. You can, you can uh, salt meats, smoke meats and uh, those meats will keep... Uh, uh, without being refrigerated, hanging in the basement, wrapped up uh, for several months. Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing that with fresh meat. So if you learn how to salt meat or preserve meat by smoking or some other means, and then keeping it cool, uh, you're going to be far, far better off than somebody uh, who doesn't have anything. And it doesn't take much to to uh, prepare maybe ten dollars a week go out and buy a little extra put it aside and forget about it and then if, if something happens 
you're better prepared, you have something to fall back on. If nothing happens, then guess what? You don't have to grow, go grocery shopping for a while. Me, if nothing happens, then I don't have to go grocery shopping for at least six to nine months. That includes milk, which I buy powdered, and eggs, which I buy powdered. All I have to do to make quite a few of my meals, folks, is add water. And yes, I rinse out and sterilize the old plastic milk jugs, and I can store water in them. Uh, five gallons of Clorox bleach, uh, and one cap full of, one cap full of Clorox bleach, uh, to one gallon of water will do it. I have five gallons of Clorox. So I'm able to uh, sterilize uh, uh, quite a bit of water. And so now I can make my own meal uh, using my own water that I have stored. Canned foods such as uh, vegetables, uh, as long as they're kept dry, will keep for quite a while. Uh, I have currently have 27 cases of uh, potatoes, corn, green beans, peas, carrots, mixed vegetables. So at 12 cans to the case, at 27 cases, that's uh, 324 cans of vegetables. That's uh, not too bad. That's uh, almost a year's worth of vegetables uh, with one can of vegetables uh, per day for a family of three, which isn't too bad. That's not, that's not walking away from the table uh, rubbing my gut that I'm entirely full like I would at Thanksgiving but it's going to give my family enough sustenance uh, for the day at three meals a day like that to uh, carry on and the whole point is is it, even even if I, I don't uh, make it through it or my family doesn't make it through number one I tried which is more, more than most because most people have their, their head so far up their rectum uh, they can't hear you anyways because the government's got them asleep. Or, uh, or number two, um, the assurance and the continuation of the human race is paramount to everything. Also, canned vegetables. My, my wife just brought up a good point. 99% of the time, vegetables are packed with water. Excellent source of water uh, if, if you can't find one. Uh, just crack open those can of vegetables and uh, not only will you have a meal but you also have some water to drink. Uh, you should be able to pick up vegetables uh, fairly cheap at a, at a discount store. Aldi's, uh, Big Lots, or a discount food warehouse somewhere and uh, you can start stocking up on them. If you can, uh, if you're out in the country or the burbs, plant a garden. I have a garden. It's uh, approximately 80 feet by uh, 60 feet. Uh, I've got quite a few tomato plants, and uh, I plan on uh, making a bunch of tomato sauce. I've got peppers, onions, beans, corn, carrots, uh, the whole nine yards. Uh, so now that I have a means of making my tomato sauce and uh, I have approximately a hundred pounds of flour I have uh, a couple chickens that I keep in my shed that lay eggs and I have 15 gallons of oil I am now able to make my own noodles and uh, now that I can make my own noodles whether they be spaghetti or macaroni I also have my own homemade sauce so therefore I can I can start to prepare my own homemade uh, spaghetti s noodles and sauce and I can feed my family yet another meal if you don't live in the country and you live in the city by all means go to your local Walmart or your gardening store get a get a pot maybe a maybe a five gallon bucket or or whatever something that about that size put some soil in it or maybe some miracle grow and uh, go, go to go to a uh, greenhouse and uh, purchase a couple tomato plants you can get like a pack of six for like two bucks and uh, plant plant a couple in the uh, in the pots that you just made and then uh, put them in the sun. Make sure they get as much sun as they can. Put them out on your back porch or on your uh, stoop and uh, watch them grow. And uh, take a couple off of them when they ripen. Crush them up. Blend them up. Get a ball mason jar and, and uh, go online and learn how to can. It's very, very easy. 
For the cheap tomato sauce, you can pay as much as a dollar or the more expensive, uh, three or four dollars, but you can make it at home for about 15 cents. Be a bargain shopper also. Also, another point, uh, dented cans might be cheaper, but you also remember dented cans may cause uh, food poisoning, tomain poisoning, which is very, very deadly. Don't buy dented cans. Use your head, people. Okay, uh, I'm going to uh, wrap it up. Sit down, brainstorm, and uh, see what you can come up with. Uh, give yourself a day or two to come up with some ideas on what to purchase, and then uh, go do it and see if it's feasible. Start stocking up and putting things aside, and when and if uh, something does happen, you'll be much better off and you'll be, you'll be uh, much more thankful.